break down the statement the light, the light, the light, the light, the light, the light of all our souls. Can you break that down term by term? Uh, what, what, each term what each light represents? Well, I would say the lightless light is the junction because matter at its subtlest is light and light at its grossest is matter. So when everything is absorbed into the ultimate essence and cannot be absorbed into anything further, it is called Pradhan or Alinga, the Pradhan, which is Padma Matri. It, that is the divine matrix, the transcendental matrix. But then after the divine mind, the transcendental matrix is divine mind. You still have to make a quantum leap into divine consciousness. The consciousness vivifies and activates the mind. The consciousness impregnates the divine mind by close proximity to the divine mind, but yet not touching it, yet not being involved in it. it the consciousness permeates the divine mind, but is not involved in the divine mind. That is, the spirit of your soul permeates the soul and all the physical bodies, giving them life and understanding, but is not involved in it. But in the philosophy of the Advaita Vedanta, they say that everything from matter to spirit is all one. Now the link between, there's a huge gap between light and consciousness. This is what Einstein has not been able to cap. He's not able to bridge this. And therefore his formula ended at E is equal to mc squared. Okay? Energy is equal to mass into the velocity of light. Right? Faster the light, the more the mass. Less the light, the less the mass. Okay? And if light exceeds its own speed, the space-time continuum breaks down. Right, Adele? You wanted to know what's continuum and space-time? So when light exceeds... <laughs> when light exceeds its speed, the space-time continuum breaks down. When this breaks down, there is a certain link between the light transiting into spirit, into consciousness. This link is called the lightless light. It is faster than light. Its mass is infinite. And that's why I've given this new terminology, the lightless light, which links the divine consciousness to the divine mind, is a thing called the lightless light. Which lights that light, that light, is the trinity come into consciousness, into the matrix. That light is the matrix. And the Padma Matri, the Divine Mother, Durga, Shakti, she is the light of all our souls. She is the energy of all our souls. Through the three powers which are concomitant, co-equal and with her, which is of Shiva, Vishnu and Brahma, Father, Son and Holy Ghost, that is that light, the trinity in our three-dimensional world. So that means that this lightless light is a very unique phenomena. It is the Trinity. It is Babaji. Beyond the rings pass not. It is the Trinity and Babaji. Beyond all relativity. Which lights the light of all our souls the light of all our souls is that it, the same eternal spark of the lightless light which becomes the light and then becomes the individual light of every soul, which is the spark of the ineffable universal divine sun, the lightless light. So it's in simple uh, palads, if you want to put it, it's father, mother, son. Atma Buddhi Manas, Father, Mother, Son, 
Lightless light is father, that light is mother, and the light of all our souls is the sun. Is that clear? Is that very simple? Mm -hmm. Father, mother, son. We are all who? Children. Of whom? The transcendental matrix, the divine mother, Padma Matri, the matrix lotus, that light. And the lightless light, after penetrating that light, which forms the star, a symbol, a precursor, a tunnel to God the Father, we get into the lightless light. From that light. Okay? It's, it's the same thing, but in different proportions. Individual, universal, infinite. Individual, universal. The individual is the light of all our souls. Universal is that light yeah. of the transcendental Padma Matri, Matrika. And the lightless light is infinite. The light of our soul is the, the divine indwelling. Ah, 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 ah.